Today on Made to Hack, I play with epoxy blocks. In a previous video, I made a few test samples of an epoxy granite composite material. In this video, I run a few tests on the properties of the material. The first test is a friction test using the three blocks with the various additions of graphite carbon to the mix. I first trimmed the edges of the one block which had some epoxy resin mixed with graphite applied to the bottom surface. I then cleaned and scraped the test piece of granite. I set up a coefficient of friction test by using this phone's compass app to show the angle of the surface. I then began by testing each block and seeing at what angle the block would roll off the surface. Here are the results accounting for any outliers. The block with the extra resin on the bottom surface was the one with the lower coefficient of friction. then decided to sand all the blocks using sandpaper all the way to 1000 grit to see what impact it would have on the blocks. I repeated the tests, however I lost the video. There was a noticeable improvement in the blocks without the extra resin on the bottom surface. It seems that a flatter, more even surface has more impact on the coefficient of friction rather than the composition of the epoxy granite mix. I then tested the deflection of the two longer blocks, the one without a steel mesh armature and the one with a steel armature.
I clamped the pieces down and attempted to measure the deflection by using a dial indicator to see any changes. I could not get any reliable reading using this method. My final test was perhaps a bit misguided, and I'm not sure what I was expecting. It was a drop test on the square pieces using a steel weight. Since I had no way of measuring the differences, this test was pointless since it's clear that I don't know what I'm doing. Epoxy granite is a great material for vibration dampening, so a drop compression test is not really useful. Finally, I cut the square blocks using an angle grinder to see the middle of the test pieces. In this picture, I'm happy to see that the steel mesh was well integrated into the material matrix. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.